Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2020-20 guys. Okay. So this question is a type of theoretical question you can say. Okay. So the question is, let G of V comma E be a weighted undirected graph and let T be a minimum spanning tree MST guys. So it is MST minimum spanning tree of a G. Okay. Maintained using adjacency list guys. So remember, whenever you are using adjacency list, it is one of the best way to store a spanning uh, a graph, guys. Because in adjacency list, we are not going to waste additional spaces, right? Yes. So whereas in matrix representation, many areas you will find zeros only because there is no edges in between them, right? Yes. Okay. Suppose a new weighted edge V cross V is added, U comma V belongs to V is added to G. The worst case time complexity of determining if T is a still an MST or not. Okay. So basically, if you are, if that particular graph is already having a minimum spanning tree. Okay. So let us re recheck the question, guys. So the question is, G is a weighted undirected graph. Okay. And T is the minimum spanning tree of that particular graph. Okay. Of a G maintaining using adjacency list okay suppose a new weight u comma v okay new weighted edge u comma v is added to graph g so basically to the graph you added one more edge guys okay so the worst case time complexity of determining if t is still in the linked is still in the minimum spanning tree or not okay so assume that so let us take a small example so assume that this is our original graph guys okay so, so let us take one more because it will be easy, right? Yes. So assume that this is our original graph. Okay. So the previous weights are 1, 2, 7 and 8. Okay. So the minimum spanning tree for this, what will be the minimum spanning tree guys? So it will look in this way, right? Okay. Yes. So it is nothing but 2 plus 7 plus 1. The result will be 10, right? Yes. Okay. So in total, that result will be 10. The minimum spanning tree result, right? Yes. Okay. So in this way, it is there. So you added one edge for this particular thing. So assume that I have added this edge and the cost of that edge is minimum. Okay. So now we need to check what is the worst case time complexity of determining if T. Okay. So this is our T, right? Yes. And this is our G. Is it still a minimum spanning tree of a resultant graph is. So basically they are saying can you judge that now for this graph what is the minimum spanning tree guys so in originality this will be the minimum spanning tree for this the result will be 6 but this is the original this is our assumption right so we need to check how much time it will take to check whether it is the existing one or not so it is a simple thing right so what you can do is you can start checking from here at each and every vertex right so it is matching with this or not just with that simple logic you can do. So at each and every vertex, if you do it, that will be enough, right? So with that simple explanation, I can say that big O of N, sorry, big O of V, the number of vertices. So D will be the correct answer, right? Yes. It's a quite simple question, guys. The only thing is you should understand the concept here, okay? Yes. So if I check at each and every vertex, like here we are having A to B, okay? Matching, it's matching. So here the minimum value is 3, but here that is missing. So hence these two are not matching. So in that way you can decide, right? Yes. So it's a quite simple question. Okay. Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.